So one of the things that I disagree with you with is your stance on 9-11 being an inside job. I actually don't want to talk about that because you actually had a well, pretty I lengthy. I do if you disagree. Well, no, no, no. Listen, you talked to David Pakman about this for about 17 minutes. And I think that Did basically I heard it. Yeah, I watched it. And I agree more with David Pakman than I do you, to be honest. However, let me say this. I don't care. Like you and th that's not a deal breaker for me because what I want is for you to get your message and your platform across. Because I think if you have a robust platform, I don't care if you have these other views that I disagree with. But let me ask you this, strategically speaking, you're going to be called on. And the first question that they're going to ask you, we both know it, it's going to be Senator Gravel. You've made some controversial remarks. You claim that you have no doubt that 9-11 is an inside job. How do you respond to that question on a debate stage? Real simple. I say, are you not aware of the fact that the commission that was created by Bush was first to be chaired by Henry Kissinger? Does that not give you an inkling that there was something going on? That he was he was acceptable because he's the classic cover your behind government. The second thing is going to be, does it not disturb you that the commission never even acknowledged the existence of Building 7 coming down by controlled demolition? Does that not raise a question? Does it not raise a question that this was the excuse that the neocons put forward to be able to, as they articulated in a letter, to be able to have a, a situation like the Pearl Harbor to energize the people to fight the war uh, on, against uh, terror? which is not a war, which is a war for infinity, does it not disturb you a little bit to wonder when you follow the money that the chief beneficiaries of 9-11 are the military industrial complex? Does that make you suspicious? But All Senator I'm asking for, wait a second, let me finish. All I'm asking for is that we have a new commission to look at this. We had three commissions look at the press with Kennedy assassination. What's so wrong? Sure, I say it's an inside job. I don't know who the insiders are. I'd like a commission to look at this again and maybe tell me who the insiders are. Well, this is what's so wrong with that? Why can't you accept that? another commission, not of politicians? I would insist that members of the commission, the last three president heads of the United Nations, should be on that commission, and scientists. Uh, and not politicians. We don't need any more politicians covering our backside. What we need is to going after the truth. And but right Senator, now, yes. The ahead. whole point in me asking you this hypothetical is to see how you would answer that question. And I think that you and I both know that the way that corporate media works is they don't want to give you the time to talk about your platform. So what I was hoping that you would do if that question came up is completely dodge it, swat it away, and jump straight to your platform, not even get into it, because to me, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't care about that position. You know what I mean? Good so advice. Good advice. And I'll tell you what, when you see me in debates, I'll, I'll, I'll assert myself. With all due respect, that's not the question you should be asking me. Yeah, does that'd that be... Like, does that sound like a good way to handle it? I think that would be fantastic, because this is the way that I... When I hear you talk about this, I think, okay, I disagree, but... I, it's not a, like I said, it's not a deal breaker. I don't care enough because your platform is what I care the most about. But the initial thing that worried me was that this is the one thing that we're going to take away from this debate. They're not going to let you get out the rest of your platform. They're not going to let you we'll talk see. about your agenda. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how the debate goes. But if you got a taste of what the way the debate goes, just look at the last debate. Right. Which is why I'm also... I, I am right. confident. Yeah, well, what I'm living on, what I'm living on, and what the what our campaign is living on is what I said in the last last debate. And isn't it interesting that all of the problems that we had at the last debate before Obama got elected and now Trump, that nothing has changed? Yeah. Does that does that give you a message as to have, let's have another election, get all these people elected to can do all these things? They can't do these things. They, Obama wasn't able to do it. Trump is even worse. So what we what we need is a new device, a new structure that permits the issues that we want to be dealt with to be dealt with. That's what and I that's want you to say device. on the debate huh? stage. That's what I want you to say on the debate stage, regardless if they ask you about because they, they want to get like they want to draw you in. So you just talk about 9-11. You talk. But that's what I think would really be something that makes this a success is if you don't even you pretend as if you're the host of that debate and you just take charge and you talk about your platform. I think that is what 
I want to see. Isn't that what I did in 08? That's exactly what you did in 08. So I just oh, want to make I, sure we I replicate that. You, I, I just want to confess to you, I haven't changed. Good. <laughs> I haven't got a little older. A little, little, every so often I'll have some senior moments, but I think people will understand the senior moments Every, because they don't detract. That. They don't detract from the message. We all have brain parts. 